Well, hi, folks. My name's Spong, Sam Spong. This here is my boat, number 74. I stopped here at Great Falls in the tavern on my way up to Sharpsburg and on up to Cumberland, Maryland. Stop here quite often. In fact, you know, it wasn't too long ago that my 11-year-old little boy, Willard, he likes us to call him Will, carved his name, W. Spong, in lift lock number 19 down. You can still see it today. And Spong is backwards, kind of cute little fella. He's awful proud of that. Well, a week ago, my family and I had this boat full of coal going down to D.C. through Georgetown, headed to the Traction Power Company. You all probably know it as a streetcar company, the Capital Traction Company. But not too long ago, the streetcars were pulled by horses down there, and then they converted to electricity. They had to build a generating plant down there on the shore of the Potomac. Coal-fired, generate electricity, operate the streetcars between Georgetown and Capitol Hill. Well, anyhow, it was about 8 o'clock Saturday night. We pulled in, we lit, went through lift lock 2 and 1 down there into Rock Creek and out through tide lock. Met a tugboat, it nudged us over close to the seawall there in the wall of the Traction Power Company. We tied up, took our snubbing lines and tied up the side of the building. It was too late to do anything, so we decided to call it an evening early. Next morning, about 5.15 or 5.30, Thomas, my 16-year-old, and I got up, decided we'd start taking the hatches off the boat, prepare to offload the coal. Nina, my wife, I call her nothing. She was in the cabin fixing breakfast. The three little ones, Sarah, Will, John, we let them sleep in. There's not much for them to do on a Sunday morning, 6 o'clock Sunday morning. And all of a sudden, I heard this hissing sound. And for a minute, it almost sounded like, like the water coming, coming through a lift lock. But it was different. It was like bubbling. It was hissing. And it kept getting louder and louder. And I, I looked around, and I noticed coming out of the side of the power plant was a six or eight inch round steam pipe with an elbow in it like a 90 degree angle and it went down into the water and the water was bubbling and it was bubbling more and more and more and the steam was hissing and hissing and hissing and all of a sudden bang the elbow of that pipe blew off and the steam rushed into the cabin nine crawled out and all i could hear were the screams of my children and thomas and i tried to get to them and we couldn't and the steam was just pouring out of the cabin it's been a week now. Nine still in Georgetown Hospital. Not expected to live. Mortician took the three little ones and buried them in a grave at Sharpsburg. That's why I don't have anything to do with this canal. inside and get a drink, you all can come in and get warm. <laughs> Down the walk downstream. You haven't worked a day in your life. 
From here, you haven't heard about no. Joe Davis and his wife? I wouldn't treat a dog like that. Joe Davis, the lock keeper up by the tunnel? Yes, absolutely. The sheriff stopped by to see if everything was all right. He found that the house had been burned down, burned to the ground. He went through the ashes. He found Joe and the missus. Their bodies in the ashes. Their heads have been bashed in. Ugh. Terrible. I have to say, it is a mighty lonely spot this time of year. Yeah, Joe is. always used to complain to me that the only people he ever sees are us boatmen, and in the winter, doesn't even see us. Well, I found a coin working down at that lock. I was going to take it up to Joe next week and show him. If anybody knew what it was, it would have been him. You see, one time Joe showed me this coin that he said was from a pirate ship. He showed me that one, too. Well, the funny thing is, fellas, when the sheriff found the bodies, he didn't find that coin collection. Mm. Pretty mysterious. Mm. Oh, this just gives me the shivers. Play me a happy song, would you? Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Pass me a glass, will you? cold out there tonight. I need something to warm me up. Hello, stranger. What are you all doing tonight? We're fine. Where are you coming from? Passing through, uh, too. Coming all around, looking to try to get upstream. Know anybody heading that way? Here's your man. Well, I happen to be heading up that way. It would be mighty nice to have some company. I'd be mighty obliged. I'd be mighty obliged. Let me buy you all a drink. <laughs> oh, boys, look at this. I don't get to see this often. Neither did you. Cash on the barrel head. That's right. Look at this cash and tell me if you've seen anything like it. Where'd you say you came from? Uh, I come from all around. I get all around the canal. I have to say, stranger, I've only known but one man to have a coin like this, and uh, he was murdered. Get him! Get him! Go get the sheriff! We're gonna get that guy, and when we do, he's gonna wish the sheriff came. But you don't want to be here when he gets. Get, get, get going down the towpath. <laughs> Good running, Cumberland. <laughs> 